Good morning from Jispa. Today is day three, and we are headed to Somuridi, or maybe Sokar. Let's see how much uh, we can do in today's day. TD's here, geared up, helmet on. Amen. Ricky, not Abhishek. Ricky. <laughs> Look at that backdrop. Oh, it was stunning last night. We had a full moon. We stayed at this place called Yak Hotel. Doesn't have a balcony, but food was good. So. We'll see you at the next stop. And we just started from Jispa. Those are the river camps over there. Again, tents over there. Here. The Hermitage Lahol. This looks nice. Time is 9 o'clock. Wow. We did start late today. Oh God, what a view. Heaven, heaven. Snow-capped mountain, the brown mountain, the green mountain, the river. Straight, Shingula, and when you take a right, you there you go. So that was going to Padum, Shingula Pass, and this one goes to Sarchu and Leh. This one's for Sri. So many sheep. Wow, so many of them. Time is 9.25, we left at 9 o'clock and now uh, we are on our way to Baralacha. Uh, we have just reached now Deepaktal. <laughs> that is true, that's my name. This is Deepaktal. Right here, Deepaktal, this is the lake. Not a very big one, but yeah. And then we have ahead Suraj Tal, and then we'll get uh, Baralacha. So here we go, guys. Deepak Tal. This is the new bridge they made. I think should be starting by. It's ready well, maybe a week, 10 days. And this is the old one. Can you imagine all traffic going through this? Wow. Stunning. Ice cold water. It's like light bluish green. Ah, lay. Lay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Tarmac. <laughs> Let's go. And we are at Zing Zing Bar. Varalachla is 21 kilometers. I think it's only going to be a climb now. What a lovely sight. It's 8 degrees At some point in the past these used to be water crossings But now we have bridges The landscape changes completely Now we are facing all the snow mountains Crazy Full brown, like somebody just sliced it. Amazing. We're coming from down there. Oh God, this is so, so stunning. It's snowing now. It's flaky, it's less, but it's amazing. I don't think the GoPro can capture it unless a flake goes straight into the lens. But this is just, Stunning guys I see a board over there. I think we're headed that side from here Super stunning temperature is five degrees heated grips are on and We are getting close to Bara Lachla okay, guys. Time for some off-road fun Stuck behind the tanker It's dusty But it's fun Snowflake still falling Slow drive, long life, right there. Pristal is on my right, there you go. I somehow remembered this from five years ago. Fully snow covered, this, 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 everywhere. Fantastic. Didi, what's up? Surajtal. Wow, really stunning. So this is Varalachala Pass, but so many people you can't see it. We have we have started a descent down from Baradasha. Lucky little no headache, no heavy head so far, which is brilliant. I think the Dimox just worked fine for us. Uh, having a little trouble with the tire pressure. Don't know if it's the attitude which is causing the sensors to go haywire. My rear pressure is showing 26. It's supposed to be 40, if not 42. So probably just go down, climb down and check it out again and probably refill it. We have a pump. The descent is a bit, uh, how would I say, not a new road. The other side of Baradacha was fantastic road. It's only from Surajtal till uh, I believe now down to Bharat Tent Colony. The road is little broken little tarmac and here we come to the water crossing wow that was easy peasy i have 
haven't even changed the mode. Now I'm on enduro mode. Uh, stunning views of the Bharatpur tent colony. This is where I had to stay when I got hit with the AMS after Baralacha. And one guy called Sangha saved me. Let me see if he's there today. Stunning views. Look at that mountain. Beautiful. Time to eat some food. Thank you. Leaving after lunch. Heading now to Sarchu. standing away at the spot it's like a plane flat line campsite behind blue sky and snow capped mountains behind me bike TV Ricky and me Sarchu this just happened. No, nothing over here. We just opened to access the terminal. And a slight puncture. The air pressure was dropping like crazy. It's just been fixed by our man, Ricky and TD. And we are good to go. Cheers. So after a delay of one hour, we finally left Sarchu. Now we are on the way towards uh, uh, Gata Loops and then to Nakila Pass. And then we're gonna take a right turn from Miru and head to Sokar. Now road is fantastic, air pressure still low but uh, manageable. So. Let's see whenever we stop next, uh, we're gonna air it up. Welcome to search you guys There we are with the dust storm Oh I wish my bike could go through this I could have come out over there man This is a good way to go Shit
Gata loops over. Finally, I think this was never ending. The Gata loops are so, so, so crazy. The boys are here. I just took a pit stop to change the battery on the GoPro. Nakila Pass at 15,547 feet. Yes! Yeah, baby. We made it. The feeling is on top of the world. Finally, Nakila Pass done at 15,547 feet. Now we are getting down to Pang. I hope Pang Road is made. Five years back, it was bad. Wow. What a view, man. What a view. Beautiful. This is the best part about Ladakh. Every turn, the landscape changes. Uh, look at this view. Crazy. Lal Chungla Lal Chungla Pass at 16,616 feet Amazing That's the third pass of the day done Baralachla, Nakila Lal Chungla Awesome Another stunning patch. Wow. How majestic. This reminds me of Gonbur Rangjon in Zanskar.
is finally two kilometers. <laughs> it's been a never ending off road section. Crazy. Oh. The boys are here. It's called Jugal Bridge. Crystal clear water flowing. Crystal clear. Right here. Pang, 15,280 feet. Wow, I didn't know Pang was so high. I don't think we need to stop. Let's keep moving. Next is Moray Plains. Oh, ho, ho, ho. What a view. What a ridge. Oh, that seems like Moray Plains. Amazing. More planes. Here we come. Langla is 34. Le is almost 125. Thank you for that. The sun is out. Straight into our eyes. No complaints. Still pretty. <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Crazy. It's crazy. The 
This reminds me of the movie Tom Cruise Ghost Protocol in uh, Mission Impossible where they just get Oh shit! <laughs> Oh man, this is wild. Sheep over there. This is crazy. Bad weather, it's snowing and we are nowhere close to our destination. I think we're going to cross another pass and it's going to be in bad weather, in snow. And I believe I'll have to put the GoPro inside, otherwise I'm going to spoil it. I can see the snow stuck on the GoPro and that's the sun by the way. Oh damn, it's snowing hard now. Can you see here? It's all settling over here. Shit, the temperature is 3 degrees. Heated grips are on. The visibility is getting lesser and lesser. Oh. Minus two degrees. Minus two. Fresh snowfall. It's snowing. Fresh snow on the mountains. It went down. The boys are behind me. Snow on my jacket. On the helmet, can't see shit. It's it's more than adventure. <laughs> Look at this. Look at my Pfizer on the bike. It's all small. How people are doing this. It's crazy. All small. Everything. 